In this video, I will show you how you can set up a global menu inside the GNOME desktop environment. The global menu will be placed inside this top panel here and therefore we will use a GNOME extension. But before we start, welcome to the channel, here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. Currently I'm using Ubuntu 23.04 and this one is using GNOME version 44. In this video we will use a GNOME extension, which is kind of not supported for the GNOME version 44, but I will show you how you can work around that and use it anyways. In a previous video I showed you my favorite window snapping and window tiling extensions for the GNOME desktop environment, so if you are interested, the link to the video is up there or down in the description. The other option we have is to use the Ubuntu Unity flavor or install the Ubuntu Unity desktop environment. But in this video we will not use the Unity desktop, instead I will show you how to install it on the default GNOME desktop. But before we install any extensions, we first need to install some packages. So open the terminal. Let's install GNOME tweaks and GNOME shell extensions. That's about it, now let's find the extension. The extension is called fill them global menu and if this is the first time that you're installing an extension then you should see a link up here, install browser extension, click on it and continue to installation, add allow and ok and now refresh the page. The link is gone and here you can see incompatible. If I check the shell version here, here I can see the last supported version is the version 41. I am running the version 44 which is not here in the list and that's why it says incompatible here. And that means that I cannot install the extension. But of course there is a way how you can install this one as well. You need to go to the official github page. The latest version is at the time of recording more than 2 years old. So it looks like that this extension is not maintained anymore. But fortunately someone forked the project and now we have a newer version. The fork is called fill them version 2 and this one has updated installation instructions. Now I need to mention that this version 2 was also not updated in almost a year now, but it's the best we have. So let's see how we can run this one. We need to build from source. I'm using Ubuntu so I will need to install those packages. Copy that and now inside the terminal sudo apt install, paste in the packages and in addition I will install git because we will also need to clone the repository. Alright, I will make the terminal always on top and now let's copy the repository link, this one here and now write git clone and the link. Now go inside the folder and here we need to call the setup python script, so copy that and we need to run it as sudo, of course with python3 and paste it in, run. Would you like to run fill them on startup? I will say yes, perfect. Now I need to open the folder, this folder right here, control L and paste. I don't have this folder because I did not install any extensions yet. So let's create the folder mkdir-p and paste the folder. Now if I search again, now I have the folder and it's empty. In here I need to paste a folder from the repository, this one right here. Copy that one into the extensions folder. Now let's go inside here and find the metadata JSON. And in here we need to add our GNOME version, which is version 44, and save it. We can close that, this one as well. Now if you are running Xorg then you are basically done, but if you are running Wayland as I am, then you have a section down there. Here it says that the HUD shortcut is not working on Wayland, so we will need to create a custom keyboard shortcut. So let's do that. Keyboard, keyboard shortcuts. We want custom, add, I will call this one buildem-hud. The command is 
this script right here. So we need to find that one inside the repository. Fill them. This one is the only script that I could find in it HUD, but it's a Python script, not a shell script. So we will execute this one. So copy the path up here, back to the settings. Since this is a Python script, we need to execute it with Python 3, and then paste the path, and the script is called init init.py, and set the shortcut to alt space. This one is already in use, but I will replace it. We are done here. And in addition, we need to run fill them at startup. So open startup applications. Let's add a new one. I will call it fill them, and the command will be fill them as well. Add and close. Finally, we are done. So those two extra steps were only necessary for Wayland. I cannot really recommend this extension on Wayland. I'm always getting frustrated when I try to use it on Wayland. So for now, if you want to use this extension, use it only with Xorg. The only thing left to do is to log out and log back in. I will do it as well, and I will also change the session to Xorg on the login screen. And I'll see you after the login. Back inside Ubuntu, let's check extensions. Now here is the fill them global menu extension. Let's enable it, and let's check the settings. Show menu only when the mouse is over the panel. I will disable that, because I want that the menu is always shown. And let's close that, this as well. And let's check for instance the terminal. Here is the terminal, and you can already see the global menu up here. Let's try zoom in, or edit preferences. It works. Let's try out the HUD, press Alt Space. Now this is the HUD. Let's try full screen. And again, perfect. Now this extension is incompatible for a reason, because not everything works. So for instance, if I try new tab, nothing happens. Not even if I click on it. Or if I try here, file new tab or new window, nothing happens. So don't expect that everything works. For instance, if you open Firefox, then you don't get a menu at all. And you get the default Firefox menu if you press Alt, this one here. And now, of course, the HUD doesn't work with that one, so it's empty. Or if you open the File Explorer, no menu, and also HUD is empty. But for instance, let's try to install GIMP, and let's run it. This one has a global menu, and it's also working. Let's try new, okay, or colors invert. It works. If you like my content and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. The link to the page is up there or down in the description. I am very grateful for every support I get, and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much. If you want to know more about GNOME extensions, then you can check out my previous video about dash to dock and dash to panel extension. The link to the video is up there or down in the description. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.